What's going on everybody? We are back live in the kitchen. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. We've got a lot of prison styled food items. We've got the ramen soups, we've got the Slim Jims, we've got all sorts of meats, we've got veggies, we've got a lot of things right here folks that could only mean one thing is getting ready to happen. We've also got a thermometer back there and some Theraflu and some, uh, what are those, nicotine patches and some, some Mucinex? Those are going to be off the table. Those items are not going to be used for this. But because of the fact that we are back in the kitchen right now folks, it's getting ready to be an after prison show cook off. Now the first time that we did this, we featured Dave versus Shannon. We're going to do things a little bit differently today. We're going to have two contestants facing off against each other. We're going to judge on three different things. Time to completion. That's the first thing. Presentation. That's the second thing. How well or how good does your prison meal look? And the third thing is going to be taste. We should also have a fourth thing, creativity, but we'll just go with the three things for right now. Again, the first challenge featured Dave versus Shannon today. However, we are again featuring Dave. He's here. He's looking very, well, he was looking very determined. <laughs> That's a good face. Keep that. Dave, the loser from the first after prison show cook off. Doing battle against none other than this guy. The rabster, the rabbi, rabbit. Ribbity ribby rabbit. Now that's a serious face. That's the face of a guy that you don't ever want to go doing battle against inside of a kitchen. Rabbit versus Dave. Folks, it's getting ready to go down in this kitchen. Now we are gonna do things a little bit different this time. With all of the ingredients that you guys are seeing in the background, all of those ingredients aren't going to be on the table. Actually, I know they're kind of on a table right now, but that's not... What I mean is, I'm going to hand select a couple of items. I'm going to get some exclusive items in there. And both Rabbit and Dave, they're going to put together the best type of prison meal that they can with those specific ingredients. The first cooking challenge focused primarily around prison pizza. This time, you can cook whatever you want. You want to make a wrap, you want to make a swole, you want to make a bowl, you want to make a shot. Bowl shot. Make whatever you want, but we're judging on three things. Time to completion, presentation, and third, taste. Cody and me will be the judges of this cook-off. Cody is not with us right this second. He's upstairs editing a video about me potentially about to be going to jail, but that's another video for another time. Actually, you'll have seen that video before this one. What ingredients should we use, folks? I think I'm going to go with, obviously, ramen noodles, they have to be... Ramen soups, we've got three different flavors. We've got the beef, we've got the oriental, we've got the chicken. Those are definitely needed. How about some of these Slim Jims, folks? What kind? These are not your ordinary Slim Jims. These are bar tangy barbecue. Tangy barbecue Slim Jims, we're definitely going to go with those. Those are going to be needed. We're going to use the veggies. We've got bell pepper and onion. Let's put that up there. We've got summer sausage, bacon bits. Oh, we got to throw those in there. But now we got to get a little more creative. Got to get a little more creative. What do we got? We got some buffalo chicken. That's... Oh my God, what is this? Cajun trail mix. Definitely have to use the Cajun trail mix. The chili cheese Fritos. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is already looking horrendous. We've got some other ingredients over here. What is that? Folks, that is maple ham spread. Oh, let's go ahead and throw that up there as well. Barbecue flavored Vienna sausages. If you don't think that we're going to include those, we are. Those are going to be used. Refried beans or beanie weenies. I think we'll go with the beanie weenies. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, cheese, hot sauce, jalapenos. Salsa, all of those, those are going to be needed. And last, we're going to use some mayonnaise packs and some pickles. These are the ingredients for the meal. Every one of these ingredients must be incorporated some kind of a way in the meal. If you Forget an ingredient. That's an automatic disqualification. 
Rabbit, have you ever cooked with trail mix before? No. Dave, have you ever cooked with the beanie weenies? No. Oh, this is going to be interesting. We have to use uh, uh, all of them. <laughs> all of them. Or you're disqualified. You might as well just even the maple head. <laughs> you might as well just hands. disqualify yourself now. I can't. What are, you, what are you supposed to do with maple ham spread? <laughs> look, I've, already, I've already got an idea. Feed it to the cat. It looks like cat food. <laughs> it's getting ready to go down in the After Prison Show Prison Kitchen, folks. It is Dave versus Rabbit. You've seen the ingredients. You've seen the contestants. Now, let's see who's getting ready to get, not chopped, but shanked. Are you ready? I don't want to eat the ham. Are you ready? I'm ready for the world. Well, let's get ready to rumble. I forgot one thing. We gotta. We definitely have to have these ingredients as well. Uh, wraps and also saltine crackers. They have to be on the table just to help them be able to prepare whatever type of meal that either one of them wants to prepare. But contestants, I ask you now, are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Got the keys to the world. And you got an After Prison Show 1 million subscriber t-shirt on. You guys are ready? Then let's get ready to uh, cook off. Go! It's going down. <laughs> it ain't happening. It's going down right now. It's going down. Yo, hey, you block first. All right, so right now Dave and Rabbit are both grabbing ingredients. Dave's grabbed some some Slim Jim, some pickles. Rabbit's having a little bit of trouble getting to the ingredients. Dave is bogarting everything. That is bogart. Where's all the? Where's all the? What are you where looking for? Where the mayonnaise go? There's only five mayonnaise packs. Oh, well, I'll take two. Here, you can have one. Rabbit's immediately going straight to busting up noodles. You've gone with the beef. Is there any specific reason for that? No, I'm not going to use the flavor pack. Whoa. Whoa. Dave has gone with the chicken noodles, and he's busting his noodles immediately as well. Dave, how confident are you this time around? If you need any bags or any utensils, let me know. I'll help you get those. Dave is immediately going to the floor game. So Rabbit's already bogarted two Tupperwares. That's a good strategy right there. Leave Dave with no Tupperware. Damn right. That's how I win. Let me get that microwave for you there. All right, thank you, sir. All right. What are you, what are you cr crushing up right there? Some uh, chili Fritos. I'm just getting everything. Uh, he already took the microwave. I'm already, I'm already making the same mistakes I made last time. Another noodle rabbit, that's a game changer right there. Chili Fritos. Oh, chili Fritos. See, I have no idea what I'm making. That's probably not a good way to start this. But see, when it comes to prison food, it's all getting everything, everything starts the same. It's the finishing touches that change the meal. Remember, there's three things that we're judging on. Time to completion, presentation, and ultimately taste. Now taste is the ultimate game changer. Just because one contestant wins both time to completion and also presentation doesn't mean that they can't lose at the very end by having the other contender's meal taste better. We got no summer sausage, you just, you use the Slim's instead, huh? Slim Jim's potted meat and Vienna sausages. That's disgusting. So Rabbi, you did say that you know what you're preparing. I do. Dave said that he has no idea. How does that make you feel? I, I think it's cool because being as Dave don't know what he's gonna fix. It's gonna take him longer to get the job done. Wow. Yeah, that is a good point. Dave's going straight to the potted meats right now. God. That looks delicious. <laughs> oh my God. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> What do you? <coughs> kind of looks like. 
if you cook it, does it get back into like a meat form? It's like we're it's like regurgitated meat. <laughs> That's it's freaking disgusting, dude. It wouldn't be disgusting if you was in prison. I didn't eat uh, everything they had in prison, bro. So rabbit's noodles are completed in the microwave. The microwave is now available, David, if you need it. Okay. What are you gonna do with that bag? I'm gonna cook my noodles in it. Well, it's, it's tin foil, ain't it? It's not sticking it in the microwave. <laughs> oh, I just found out what I'm gonna cook. Uh-oh. Did it come to you? It just came to me. Now the only two ingredients that ne neither contestant is required to use are the saltines and also the wraps. Those are just to help in case you want to make something using those. Wow, Dave actually just put pickle juice right into his noodles that haven't even been cooked yet. And also in there are the Fritos. Yeah. One package of heart attack? Yeah, only one heart attack. Are you hungry? No, I'm good. I've actually lost my appetite watching the both of you cook. <laughs> so Rabbit's adding the cheese to his noodles. There's no seasoning pouch in either of those two noodles right there. Mm -hmm. Looks like you might have just a little too much water in there, Rabbit. No, no, I got Dave's in the microwave now, cooking some water. Have you figured out what you're gonna do with the potted meat? Yeah. Rabbit's added veggies already into both of his noodles. Wow, Rabbit. I just gotta let you know, yours is actually smelling really good. Thank you. Here we go again. Joe siding with the enemy. So Rabbit, it looks like he's getting ready to be making wraps. Ooh, boy, those Vienna sausages. You have to use all of this? You better bet you do. Beanie wings, though? Rabbit's going for the potted meats right now. Oh, my God. That right there looks like Aggie's food. Very disgusting. You got going on over here so you're not going to use the beans i'm not using all the beans you know you didn't say you had to use no, all. no you don't gotta you don't gotta use all of the ingredients if you didn't want to use the beans you wouldn't even have to use the beans so long as you're using something from it well i was gonna use do whatever you want so long so as the what if I, so what if i don't use none of the meat and i just use this to cut stuff with no that's not gonna work stick oh, all right. <laughs> So we don't have to use the beans, we just need to use something from the beans. Yeah. Look. That just happened. So that Rabbit's was, just using a little bit of flavoring right that here. That real life. That just happened. <laughs> I just watched that. I was a witness to the straight beanie weenie juice pouring. You know, it's part of that beanie weenie juice pouring. I'm gonna be honest there. with you, it smells good. Yeah, because you like all that weird stuff. I'm not a fan of the weirdness. All right, Dave's going to his noodles. He's going to get his noodles cooking right now. Now, this was uh, where you failed the last time, Dave, was in the base preparation. This is easier because I'm not looking to... Is there a freaking hole? There's a hole in the bag, Dave. <laughs> Dave is always having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Do you think Rabbit cut a hole in the bag? Rabbit's already got the Vienna sausages in there. What do you think this is going to taste like? <laughs> That's a hell of a question. That's a <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it's going to taste like. Uh, that's a loaded question, Joe. <laughs> so I'm not going to answer. Um, actually, I think it's going to taste pretty good, man. Okay. Mayonnaise right into the ingredients. Mm -mm -mm. So Dave's had to switch bags because his other bag had a hole in it. Nice little mess over here as well. So Dave, talk to us a little bit about what you're making because it's obvious that Rabbit's making wraps. I'm gonna use the wraps too. Might as well make something like a quesadilla. What flavor would it be? <laughs> Barbecue Vienna sausages. So Dave is putting the cheese right on top of the meats. You've got all sorts of meats in there. Oh yeah. Talk to us a little bit about what you're doing right now. I'm making something that I hope blocks the majority of the flavor of the meat. 
that you chose for us to put into our digestive systems this fine gloomy day. Well, it's going to be your job to taste your own cooking from the gate. I mean, you got to taste it. You better be proud of this. Rabbit's not wasting any time. He's going straight to the jalapenos. Dave is going straight to the bacon bits. Why do these bacon bits smell like bologna? They're Food Line brand. No, that smell like bacon bits. It was the it was the rubber or something. Thought I was smelling your breath there for a second. <laughs> that might have been. <laughs> So it appears that Dave's starting to catch up to Rabbit. Uh, Dave looks like he's getting there. Dave, what would it mean to you to win this episode of After Prison Show Shanked? <laughs> it would it would mean the world. You know, this is this is what it's gonna keep this is what's gonna take to keep me in the running, you know. What are you doing to the wrap, Dave? Stabbing the hell out of it. What's the point of that? So it doesn't blow, bubble up. Mm. What was it? Wow. What, pickle? Mm -hmm. It's right there. I'm good. I'm good. I just use some pickle juice. That's all I need. As long as it's something out of the pickle, right? Yep. So Rabbit's not used any pickle whatsoever. He just decided to use pickle juice. Mm -hmm. Are you not a fan of the pickle? I am. But the pickle juice also gives it the same flavor. Dave's a bigger fan of the pickle than I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Them long centrilical objects. Can you me back on this again? <laughs> hey, look. Gay Dave ain't here right now. It's Chef Boy R D. Right? Ah, I can see. Rabbit's going to the hot sauce right now. Rabbit, you know what it means when you get beat by a loser, right? I ain't gotta have nothing like that, bro. I mean, anything can happen, you know. But I ain't gotta have nothing like that. It's a lot of cheese glue you're using right there. Mm-hmm. Sure, my workstation is dry. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Rabbit's taking the cheese, used it as glue to glue these two tortillas together. Mm -hmm. Dave is OCD, so he's cleaning while still in the heat of battle. Oh, that's uh, that's a good place. Hey, hey, Joe, you ever been to jail for? It's a good place for that. So talk to me about what you're doing right now. Just getting rid of the um, condensation. Condensation. War face. You don't even got to make a war face, Dave. Your meat, cheese, can smell it. Smells pretty good. Yeah. Smells pretty good. Rabbit's looking. Uh, rabbit is looking pretty. Pretty close. Oh wow! So, what do you talk to us about? What you're using the Fritos for, Rabbit? A little texture, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of flavor, a little texture to it to help hold the noodles in in here as well. Okay. So the noodles don't slide out. You know, Dave's not a fan of having the noodles slide out. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just oh wow, Dave! Did you wash your hands? One might be enough for this rep. Maybe not.
Rabbit's gone on to the Pace Picante Salsa. Not too much of an overpowered flavor of everything else. Did you use the bacon bits? I did. Yeah, they're in there. Yes, sir. It all they're looks in. the same. They're in there. Definitely. Well, I'm starting to try to piece this puzzle together right here, Rabbit. You think that's going to stay together? Yep. I guarantee you to stay together. Just want to make sure I got the right measurement. That's all. <laughs> did you say measurement? I did. More cheese as glue. Oh, yeah, I need that in my life, Rabbit. What, you need dust? Cheese? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. You don't dip my belly in that. <laughs> All right. Easy, baby. Well, we got some tearing going on. Oh no, that's just the middle where it, it, that when they won't, they don't never see in the middle like that. Well, you eat it with a spoon anyway. So, okay. You know. So I have used every ingredient that you provided. Are you are you saying that you're done? And I have. Yes. <laughs> you want a staple for that thing? I need a, a nail gun. <laughs> you got a nail gun. <laughs> so we're not cooking so, nothing with this. No, uh, this is just the way it is. Just like it is. Oh, huh. yes, sir. Okay. This is just like it is. So what do you, what, if you had to give a name for this, I, I would call it Joe's creation. If I had to give it a name because everything that is in it is off the wall, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, Rabbit has completed his. Let's go over here and see where Dave sits right now. Dave is wowzers. Holy mackerel. How confident are you feeling seeing Rabbit's completed project in comparison to yours? Did you see that? What? You didn't, didn't see that. It's a little bit of water. Can I make it a little bit more? So Dave, Rabbit's completed. How are you feeling about that? You've seen what he's cooked. Holy moly, what'd you make a frisbee there? Kind of something, sort of, along those oh, lines. Man, what the heck in the world? You see that thing? That's can, a... can we bounce it off the wall? Yeezers. That's hot. Is anybody going to be able to bite into that? Oh, yeah. It's going to be just like a tortilla. Yeah, I know you're going to break up too. Wow. A little bit of more cheese on the top of this, like these. Got to have the cheeses on it. Uh, talk to us about the... Got to uh, have the cheeses on it. Well, Rabbit being completed, waiting on Dave, has already won time to completion. So that's okay. one in favor of Rabbit. Rabbit lost. But I'm going to help him. I'm going to help him not be disqualified. Okay. What did he not use? Oh! Oh, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot. Dave hid those. Dave did have them. Hid Dave them. hid the trail mix so Dave that Rabbit would not... Dave hid the trail mix so that he could cheat. Dave, you're terrible. Excuse me. Okay, Rabbit's got the trail mix in his hands. I'm not sure exactly what he's planning on doing with it. Dave's over here feeling himself. Presentation. <laughs> Dave hid the trail mix from me, man. I, I mean, I, I would have inserted it in my ingredients. But Dave hid it. Okay, okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with that. Some bacon bits. I would have crushed it up. And put it in my ingredients. That appears to be what Dave's getting ready to do. So, you know, if he wouldn't have had to hide him in the street. Come on, hiding it was in plain view, bro. <laughs> Yeah. 
and mayonnaise and trail mix. Why did I pick the trail mix? Hold on, Dave. Don't be doing anything with it yet, just yet. We gotta get to completion, and then we have to have the presentation. Are you done? Yeah. Oh God, that could have been real bad. So Dave has completed. All ingredients have been used. Rabbits is also completed. The trail mix might have tricked Rabbit up right here. <laughs> Dave tricked me up with that, but it's okay. Cody, I need your help. Well, it's completed. Dave versus Rabbit. Now, Rabbit was completed first, so Rabbit has definitely won uh, time to complete. So, Cody, wait until you see what they have cooked up here. It smells good. So, I don't want to bore you with the details of the ingredients or make you sick to your stomach, but here's Rabbit's completed meal. Dave's completed meal. In terms, Cody, I'm going to ask you to be the judge of this part. In terms of appearance and presentation, which meal do you think wins this uh, this part of the challenge? Dave definitely wins appearance. Dave, you have won appearance. I agree. Your meal. So it's 1-1. One, one. Your meal definitely wins on the appearance. But like I said. Taste. <laughs> taste. Taste is where the final challenge comes into play. Let's get ready to start with Rabbit. Rabbit, you're up first. Rabbit, talk to us about what you've created here. Okay. Um, I have created a wrap of sorts that the ingredients are beyond my control. There he goes, already complaining. <laughs> so Making excuses. The ingredients are beyond my control. However, I did the best I could with what I had. So I'm quite sure that this is going to be a tasty morsel. Well, can we get two pieces cut? One for me, one for Cody? Most definitely. All right, Cody. You ready to try this? Mm -hmm. Now you got to make sure that you get the trail mix on the top as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help you with that. There you go. All right, Cody. Go ahead and give that a taste. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, definitely uh, tastes Fritos. So, Cody said it tastes pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I can see the flavor of some of the ingredients with other ingredients. Rabbit, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I would have cooked the wrap, but other than that, used all of the ingredients. It sort of tastes like, well, it tastes delicious, but it sort of feels like it's got the consistency of vomit mm -hmm. in my mouth. Cool. But other than that, fantastic job using all of the ingredients. It tastes like vomiting. I know it's, like, it's, it's, it's jail food. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next, Dave. Dave, talk to us about what you created right here. Well, I'm not a fan of any of the meat that you chose to put in here, but the Slim Jim. Stop. I don't eat. Dave. I don't eat. Um, uh, when are I we? I don't eat potted meats. Are yes, we we're gonna get to it. I don't eat potted meats, I don't eat Vienna sausages or beanie weenies. I just don't like them. So I knew that I had to make them a way that I could like them. If I like them, somebody else would like them. So what I did was, I mixed them all together, and I added a little bit of cheese, uh, and a I lot. fried them. Okay, so what do, we, what do we have here? I call it my Crunch Wrap Supreme. 
Crunch wraps. Do you steal that from Taco Bell? Where? What's Taco Bell? Where's that at? So, are you ready to try it? That's what I want to know. All right, let's see. Let's see what you got here, Dave. Cody, uh, you ready to try this? Yeah. So Cody's up first. It's going straight into a bowl. Let's go ahead and give that a. Should I pick it up or should I? You can eat it however you want. <laughs> Does it pick up? Wow. Consistency wise, that stays together. It's kind of falling apart. Look at the size of that. <laughs> yeah, get in there. Get in there. Don't break it through. I don't really taste too much. I mean. <laughs> There you have it. <laughs> what are your thoughts on it, Cody? It's good. It's a little dry. Just a little bit. <laughs> I have got to try this, Dave. I wonder if that's like the magistrate's office. <laughs> Hello? Important message from Chesapeake Alert. Please listen and follow instructions. Oh, shit. This courtesy call is a reminder from the Chesapeake Commissioner of the Revenue's Office. Oh. The deadline to renew your business license without penalty is Friday, oh. March 1st. If you have any questions... Okay, thank God. <clears throat> Tell some people alert. That is Good God, that was... That, that was, was enough. That, like, as a courtesy, we're calling you before we send the SWAT team to come pick your old angry ass up. Okay, so I'm going to try Dave's meal right here. This is a Crunch Wrap Supreme. I'm going to not pick it up. Is it living up to its name, Joe? Very crunchy. I think it does have flavor. There is some dryness to it, though. Quite a bit, actually. And I feel like I just ate an entire seasoning patch out of a ramen noodle, so I would recommend the next time to make sure that you mix up your ingredients completely. You're uh, destroying the bowl that I gave you. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get a... One big bite after another. I'm trying to get a good feel of the taste. There is some taste. And there's, then there's also some horribleness to it as well. <laughs> I'm not sure where that's coming from. But all in all, pretty good job. Better than last time? Way better than last time. I feel good about that. Rabbit, how do you feel about your chances of winning? I'm very confident. Mine, mine has great flavor. Consistency is excellent. It's not dried out like a dirty boot. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh my God. Cody, do you think that you've got a decision on uh, which one you think tastes better? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> I feel like I'm on like one of the last episodes of The Voice. Of like the, one of the final episodes in a season. It's like, vote for me now. Text right now, 2-2-SAVE-DAVE, if you want to see him on the next episode. All right, um, Cody, give me your unbiased opinion on who you think tastes the best. I think they kind of had it. The boat kind of had the same flavor, because you can tell definitely used the same ingredients. Um, Flavor-wise, rabbits had more flavor. To give everybody Dave's, you kind of had to eat everything at once. I also, and I'm sad to say this, man, I really, really wanted to see you win this challenge, Dave. But the fact that I feel like I just ate an entire seasoning pack out of a chicken-flavored ramen noodle, and also the fact that Rabbit brought up a good point, uh, without even trying yours, it did taste like a dirty old boot. Um, Dave, unfortunately, again, you have been after prison show shanked. I'm sorry. Please take your, please take your uh, pickle slice and, go home. and exit the premises. <laughs> I'll be back. This is bullshit. Where's my Uber meeting me? At? <laughs> 
Rabbit, you're the winner. How does it feel? Feels great, man. You know, I kind of figured I could beat Dave because I've out cooked him in jail before. But, uh, you know, the ingredients were tricky this time. So, you know, you, you, you really threw a wrench in the gears. But uh, I just took what I had to work with and did the best I could with it. You know, I mean, you know, Dave's a fan of old dirty boots and shit. So, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not taking this. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh lord. Hey. I got ganked. I think I really elbowed him in the back of the head. Y'all just gonna stand there and let him beat me like that? I got a camera in my hand. I gotta be able to film this. Alright, so look, I want you guys to try what you guys have cooked. Dave, you you really gotta try his. His definitely tastes a lot better than yours. I wouldn't lie to you about it. Dude, are you next? Dude, I'm gonna try this. I'm taking this. Just try it. No talking about them. Just try it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you gotta try it. <laughs> you got to. Yeah. I ain't going for this bullshit. Let's see what you got here. There you go. What's going on? Oh man, anybody got a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> what do you think? Mm. Oh my god, it sounds like a brick fell. Mm. <laughs> that was the top of his rat. Oh, his punch rat, whatever it was. What do you think, Dave? If mine tastes like that, I don't like either of them. The potted meat, bro. <laughs> If you gag eating your own food, what's, what's that? What's that about? It's bad. Man, y'all crazy, man. Y'all, y'all did that. So that's good. Oh yeah. Let's get an unbiased opinion. Rabbit, go ahead and try this. This tastes like... Oh, you already tried this, didn't you? What'd you think? You really want to know? <laughs> Not a taste. Uh, well, you know, you got to take like three bites out, out of it to get a taste of everything that's in it. Because it's not mixed together very well. The crunch wrap part, I think it chipped one of my bottom teeth. <laughs> you know? Well, I mean, that's the only teeth that could get in. Oh, 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 oh. Extremely overly cooked. You know. And, I mean, you almost need a hammer and a chisel to cut it with. <laughs> I don't think Rabbit heard me. I heard that just blew you off. Okay. <laughs> so, Dave, you're actually going to sit here and, uh, I'm done. I'm making a mess. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, well that's it. Rabbit is the winner. Any final parting words as the uh, as the winner? Yeah, uh, uh, I do. Um, I want to I want to thank Gay Dave for hiding the trail mix and trying to cheat his way into a win. It didn't work out for him. Um, I want to thank the judges in this competition. Y'all guys did a great job. For what rigging? No, um, you know, and I was wondering if. If it's at all possible, if we could bag what the, the rest of what Dave got up and use it for a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> We're gonna make an APS weapon out of it. <laughs> Any parting words, Dave? Put his teeth back in. The <laughs> <laughs> Y'all rig this.